Hello, everybody. We are back in this piece with Erica. We have, I've done the math, I've looked through everything we need to do, and we have two more full playthroughs of Erica. Of course, skipping to the only parts that are new or need to be seen. Um, and then we have one semi playthrough, just little clips. I just want to see what happens if you just don't say shit to anybody all game because I've never done that. Um, and then one last clip thing of that. A after that, that is just us going through forums to find out the truth, maybe, potentially, what is considered the general truth. So in this playthrough, we are going for the ultimate backstab. We're going to kiss all up on Blake and then fucking slash him again because we slashed him last time. Uh, but we didn't get all fluency dirty with him. Uh, we're also going to tell Lucian to fuck off when he comes into our room. And we're going to check that subliminal message that I talked about in the last one. Um, apparently there is an option to look at the TV. I got distracted by the fact that there was a organ box in there. That uh, I was actually in the right room. Uh, I just didn't click on the right thing. So we'll finish that up. And then the next run, we're going to grab the last piece of paperwork that we need. We can't do it this run because we need to... It's on Steinbeck's body, and I need to not go to Steinbeck's body if I want to earn Blake's trust. So we can't do that. Uh, and then try to get the Proud Father thing by being Chris's BFF and become Lucian's family. And that should activate all the endings and give us that's our wrap. So... Uh, this one I'm going to clip in and out uh, on the parts. Just just little snippets of me being nice to Blake and anything you may I may have missed that we might find. So you can see what you need to do to get this achievement and see parts of this that you haven't seen before if you're just watching to just have me discover the story. So I will see you all. And a little bit after I've watched this intro scene that you cannot skip for the 20th time, maybe. So I will, I'll be back in a second. Ah, uh, we're here. I'm Sergeant Blake. At the start of this, we gotta Hester be as nice Hester as we Hester. can to the Sarge. Gotta be helpful. Gotta give him the thing. Can I see that? You, if you rip it out, we, we already fucked. We gotta, I promise we gotta I'll hand it over, hand it over to him. You draw this a lot. I do. It's Greek, isn't it? Cooperative. In Delta Epsilon. Works on the medallion too. The hand belonged to a Cal Jahar. You worked at Delphi House? I believe you visited there with your father. Um I think this that is about my father. I think that's helpful. Your father's case was never solved. Oh, I think his remote is more helpful. I don't think that that's going to hurt me, but still. Did you know he co-founded Delphi House with this man? Lucian Flowers? Why is he on fire? We think Did I never question that before? Be too. Look. We're keeping watch over at Delphi House. Protection detail. I'll be leading the investigation from there. Right now, it's the safest place for you too. Alright, that should be it for this part. Yep. Uh, here we go. Get back in this. So, what you need to do is answer the phone here. I need to answer that phone. And after we answer the phone, we need to tell him about it right away. Erica Mason, I have waited a long time to speak to you. Who is this? You were so alone, holding on to your father, covered in blood. He's not who you think he was. 
Oh, one thing I did notice uh, while we're talking about this. Um. Did you kill them? Did you send me his hands? He was one of them. He wore their medallion, the one I sent you. Find Elodie Carter. Um. Yeah, I noticed that the the gun that she has and the knife that she has is the same exact one she kept through the, the all these years until she grew older. So I think this is a weapons that. Uh, Erica got somehow possessed and then just kept them like hidden away somewhere and just brought them with her. Just throwing that one out there. Uh, so we, I also wonder what the symbolism for the fox is, because like obviously the mask, the fox, you know they take three, blah blah blah. Erica, but you only you find you the foxes. Uh, tell them about the phone call. That was a phone call. It was a woman. She knew who I was. She said. She said. Inside now. Okay. So that's all we need to do for this one. We need to find out. Uh, yeah, I'm just wondering why it's only the foxes, because there's also deer and rabbit, but those don't really come up that much. What are so you doing? Just... Get over the phone, cheers. Uh, anyways, that's all for this one. I'll see you back later. Ah, Sorry about back. that. Ah, uh, let's be his, let's be his little helper here, little helper. We're chasing the phone company, but there's still no news on last night's call. Erica, yes. it's extremely likely whoever killed your father killed Mr. Johar. There may be help some him. other victims as well we don't know about. Is there anything I can do to help? Honestly, we don't have much to go on. But Mr. Flowers has a suggestion. It might help you remember the face of your father's killer. Be helpful. I get flashes. Nightmares are a silhouette woman with a gun, but that's it. It's like therapy. It was developed by your father, and Liar. it might be able to help well, you with your nightmares. It's completely painless. Agree. Perfectly safe. Okay. Okay, I'll do, I'll do it. Uh, the images you're going to see have it forever. You and... Be back in a second. We're back. This is for a different achievement. They were going for her instead of looking at the confidential shit. I don't know what's in here, but I want to find out eventually. We need to going to the left just because I don't want to fuck it up and have to do it again. Um, and of course we already looked at that paperwork before. Um, that's right. Wait. There's stuff on here. Oh, look at that. My off <laughs> Here we go. Ah, so we need to freak out. Oh, Erica. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh, why? Why do you have it? Erica, no. You don't understand. Lucien gave them out for our anniversary, but everyone got one. For what it's worth, I've seen that thing lying around a bunch of times. It's hard to miss. I think... I think I just need to be alone. Erica. Alright. And now Lucian will come up into our room. Oh! I haven't really seen that... a whole lot on her. I'll bring a peace offering from Dr. Ballard. Alright, now we need to tell him fuck off when we get the option.
and tell him to fuck off. I don't think you should be in here. Oh, yes, of course. So if I can just... Uh, <laughs> just turn the dial to switch it on. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Um, anyway, good night. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to see what the other options are. Uh, it doesn't really matter what you do, but I'm going to follow the, the example. <laughs> we just said I don't want to leave. Uh, I do want to know what else you would say and what conversations we would have. And of course, I'll figure that out here in the future. Uh, but for now, this is, this is, to get the achievement, you just got to tell them to fuck off. So, uh, I will see you guys again when we are back at the flat with Blake. Uh, I think this might That's actually Carl be important. Place. I don't remember what questions manager. he asks during this, but I'm imagining we're going to uh got a team there now. He's missing. Um I don't think any of these are matters. So what I'm about just the woman? The one who called me. The engineers are working on it. We can't find any record of the call. <laughs> See. Yeah. Was it his? The skin? It's not official. But it's the same tattoo. Hmm. Yeah, and see that they saying that there's no Why phone call adult? ever made. They have no record of there actually being a phone call made to the house. Because it probably never happened. Uh, uh, think that that'll be. Uh, that's helpful. That's it's, it's t telling him information. Lucian. He gave it to me before my father died. Erica used to spend so much time here. There weren't any other children. I always tried to smuggle her uh, some toys or a treat. This is one of many. We're gonna have to go back to your flat. I need you to have a look around. Make sure there's nothing else missing. You can grab some extra clothes. Whatever else you need. Looks like you might be here for a while. Alright. So this part is a little bit confusing. Um, because you actually have to be a little bit disobedient. To actually make this work. Uh, instead of just obeying him and being helpful, you have to actually follow him into the other room and look through the picture. So, uh... Hopefully we haven't messed anything else up to this point. I don't think there's anyone that's majorly uh, bad as long as you, uh... I'll go check if the neighbors saw anything. As long as I think you answer anything that says help or helpful. You're good. Um, so, who the fuck knows? I'm just gonna look at the picture because why not? I know it's not there, but I haven't seen anything in the other one that makes me believe something going on. So, now we can't get the thing off of Jahar's body because that would. Make us fail at tr making Blake trust us. Uh, Jesus. Stay there. And answer the phone, and then I think we have to obey him instead of going out to check on Police. Steinbeck. Open the door, or the door will be forced I open. Think. Not 100% positive. The door is about to be forced open. So we do know that he does have a gun, by the way. <laughs> he pulled it out against us. <laughs> so he could have a gun out here. Okay, which way is it go? Yes, that way is follow. Yeah, so I did fuck that up. It looked like it was right. Oh well. Alright, we gotta go over and look at the picture. This is definitely insanity for sure. Like if this is 
this is Erica's doing. Then this is definitely insanity. It's kind of weird that she would own two flats, especially. I mean, the fact that they're right next to each other makes a lot of sense. Um, but, uh, yeah. So we want to go over here. She would like. How does she have the money to own two different apartments? It's very confusing. Maybe she gets a stipend from. Uh... Oh, that's Erica. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I didn't notice it the first time. Um, how does she take a picture of herself? Is that picture actually there? Carl Steinbeck is dead. This is a crime scene. There's someone in my apartment. Stay here. Do not leave this room. You got it. Oh, yeah, because I got to answer the phone. I watch the warn him and then answer the phone oh look through the hole yes I gotta look through the hole and watch him is that yeah yeah I gotta look through the hole again and watch him and then answer the phone again you have a gun dog anyways I was saying I wonder if she just gets like money flow from her father Uh, from, yeah, from her father's business, maybe life insurance policy, some shit like that. I don't know. No idea. Maybe Lucian sends her money. <laughs> Who the fuck knows? That is definitely. I won't look. You can't hide, Erica. That is definitely a multiple personality thing. Oh my god. Okay, and I didn't get the option to look through hey. the room. There you are. And then you treat me <laughs> nicely. Anyways, hey, that's it for stalked. now. Um, next, now, next one's when we get to the chief inspector's house. So I will see you then. All right, we back. We found I figured some of these on. might be important <laughs> to answer. I don't know. I don't think they are. Her name is Mia Green. She was a patient at Delphi House. I'm gonna try to be as as helpful as possible. Very think. close to your mother. She was very protective of her. Sometimes uh, aggressively so. Go with this one. Protective. She was difficult, sometimes violent. Her childhood was extremely unpleasant. Your mother's friendship gave her great comfort. Okay. Erica. 
The night your mother died, Mia Green broke into the dispensary. She took an overdose and died. Um, I think we're gonna go with I saw her. I saw her. We've filed an order with the judge to exhume the body. And until then, we'll be trying to track this latest call. So we're not being accusatory. We're just being straight up like, yo, this shit happened. I've got it. Wait, what do you mean? I mean, straight up with it. Corker residence. Alright, and then the last thing in here, since I don't know right if any of that was actually important Better go. to answer or not. There's an intruder at Delphi House. We have to accept with you. him being... Not you. It's not safe. You have to just straight up accept. It's fine. That's, that's all good. Okay. Be careful. Showing concern. Okay. Showing concern. You're okay. You're bleeding. Alright, and that should be Google. it. Google. I'll, I'll look after it. Alright, yeah, and then, uh, after this, all we got left is to, uh, answer a few questions when we get back, and it should be on, so I'll see you then. Okay, guys, just really quickly, really quickly here, interrupting our normal routine schedule here. Uh, I, I just answered, the, just going through here nonchalantly just answered the, the twisted one which I've done before but now had a new meaning to me I think I found a motive I think I found a motive for why she would want to kill her father uh, when I told her that you know she you ruined my life and she's like your father was a monster he took your mother and locked her away um or he, and he turned me into a monster or something like that, you know. She's saying that her father pretty much turned her into this by taking her mother when I assume she was still very, very young uh, and whatnot, and locking her into the uh, into the, uh, the the medical house asylum, whatever you want to call it. I think that had a negative effect on her as she was growing up. I think that. I think seeing her mother be locked away into a medical home where she probably didn't get to see her very much uh, unless they visited and whatnot um, just kind of started to mentally damage her huh just theories I just wanted to share this with you all before I continued here I think we have a motive for why she killed her father I think we found it here very interesting. I'm continuing on now. Alright, we're back. I almost I almost missed it here, but I think we can still grab it. So, we're back from returning, and we need to answer right away with worry. Was anyone hurt? Some cuts and bruises. Nothing major. Good. Good, 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 good. Sorry, I probably killed your father. <laughs> but he put you in here and kind of deserved it. I don't know what to tell you. Alright, here we go. We need worry. Berate. And then she's going crazy. Oh, this is crazy. Oh my god. This fight is actually going to happen. Are you okay? Berate. Is there anything I can do? Are you kidding? Try and get some sleep. You'll be safe here, I promise you. Going crazy. I feel like I'm going crazy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, he's coming to sit down. He's sitting down. Hey. It's gonna happen. It's okay. Oh my god. I think it's going to be a straight up kiss on the mouth. <gasps> oh my god, what the fuck?
Are you sure she didn't say anything? Anything that could help us find her? Oh, my God. Nothing. How old is she? <laughs> I think she's at least 18. Okay. Wow, that that just happened. I didn't even see what the other option was because uh, I just saw kiss him and I was just like, "Fuck yeah, let's go!" All right. So now, obviously, the only other thing is to do: we go with we choose, trust Mia, we go with her, and then we kill the guard uh, so that we have the knife, and he has a reason to attack us and then we just do exactly what we did we just have to make sure we get to the knife again uh, but in the meantime we did personal space we we're about to hit subliminal here uh, which I'll keep it rolling because uh, we're really close to that and then after that I'll just I'll cut off and meet you back when we're uh... I, I, I guess Going with Mia and killing, killing again. Uh, but uh, for now, we can go get that subliminal thing. I can't. I was straight on, like multiple kids. I thought it was like a peck. Like no, she just started making out with his ass. You, oh, thank you. Uh, like I'm just surprised that. Okay, I'm a little. I'm surprised he let her. You know what I mean? Like, she's really, I mean, at least in this, she's supposed to be really young. Uh, and I'm guessing he's in, if not his 30s, his late 20s, like 28, 29 or something. Uh, and she has to be at least somewhere between 18 to 21 would be my guess. Like, <laughs> at least I hope she's not young. Um. Man. Okay. That that just happened. That just ha oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, I'm surprised he didn't just stop that right away. Like, I don't know why he would. I I can understand why she would be building up feelings for him, because you know he's been the only one who's been like trying to believe her and be nice to her and the only real comfort she has in this crazy environment uh, and she's been alone for so long and all that uh, but he I don't think was just like well she listens to me I don't know why what his motive would possibly be for wanting to wanting to reciprocate the kiss besides I guess it's just like, oh, okay, a woman's gonna kiss me. Let's let's ride this out. See what happens. That's like the only really motivation you would have. All right, so we have to click on the TV, which does light up. I never noticed that before. Okay, well here we go. Here's the achievement, everybody. And we have to keep it the clicker. Oh, fuck me. That was the mic? God fucking damn it. Oh, fuck that one up. <laughs> That's okay. I can get that on my own off time. Uh, let's just keep going. Just get out of here because we done fucked that one up. I guess there's a, I, I guess there was a clicker that I was supposed to hit. My bad, I didn't hit it. Uh, I actually want to since I beat Ballard here, I actually want to hide and see if if Blake and and what's his face come. If they do, 
uh, if he'll say anything different since he kissed me. It says I've been so cooperative. Just curious. Can't believe I fucked that up. I'm so mad. Anywho. I thought that was the clicker. Okay. I guess since I've been cooperative, he's not coming, yeah? You know? Okay. I guess if you just being difficult. He shows up and talks shit about you, Delusion. I'm just gonna peace out. Alright, I'll see you guys later. Just a moment.